Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome everyone to the Arts Cast and Everything in Between. I am your host, Eileen, aka Eileen the Little Crafter. Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be doing a topic on Webtoons. Um, it is an app, it does have some cryptocurrency, and no, I am not sponsored, just in case. But I did want to do a topic on... Uh, a, a podcast on this one because there are some really good reads normally the particular genres that i like to read are a little bit of horror not bl- too bloody for <laughs> gore sake and if you're into that that is okay um they make something for everybody uh love stories um love stories for lgb community lgbt community sorry um i want to make sure that i pronounce that correctly um sci-fi drama thrillers mystery supernatural as i said there's a ton of amazing um i I would want to say graphic novels but i'm leaning more more towards uh, manga um so i will be entertaining those particular names uh some may call it something else and if you guys know the correct term please let me know in the questions down below help you girl out here Anyways, alrighty, I also want to wish my sister Lorraine a happy, happy birthday and many, many more. Yesterday was her birthday. Um, alrighty, so I'm going to try and give you a quick synopsis of what I'm reading and in the order of how much I like these. Number six is Not Even Bones. This one is a little graphic because it has to do with um, dissection. So if you're a little squeamish about that, um, they don't show it much, but they do show a little um, graphic um, stuff. So if you're a little squeamish, you may want to skip this one. But this one is basically about a young girl who is thrown into a life that her mother, she's a hunter or a, what was it? What, what? A black market person that um, sells um, supernatural creatures to the highest bidder somehow some way she ends up on the wrong side of the glass and now she has to fight her way out of this particular off this particular island along with some the person that kidnapped her um and this guy is really because of his upbringing and the genetics and all that other stuff he is very very creepy (laughs) um so yeah the next one is Sid. This one, um, it did end, but it's still a good read. Um, um, where could I start? Okay, so basically it deals with a police officer who had a shaman grandmother who was very um, good at what she did. So, like She's like well-renowned. Um, she seals his powers. Later on, he gets his powers back and um, he has to deal with things within his um, past And things that are um, happening to him now. Um, Some cases kind of revolved around um, his particular life. And the rest um, has to deal with other things. And they have to fight this organization that um, they feel that, you know. Anyways, kind of like the ghosts are not getting the respect. And... um, it's just weird. It's it, it's kind of a weird topic, but it also is a really interesting one. Again, that one is Sid. The next one, because I rearranged the order, um, is Covenant. Um, Covenant basically has to do with two different types of churches. One believes that they are the great church and the righteous church, and the other one is kind of, uh, they receive their powers and tattoos from angels, and the great church is saying, no, 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 you're dealing with demons. Um And in the midst of all this, Gabrielle, the angel who, the priest um, that he is protecting or his, um, I don't want to call them vessel, I I forgot the the right terminology, the one that he's given permission to use his powers or or capable of using his powers. He gives him a dream and tells him that you have to help someone in a cryptic way, basically. And the young man does need help because he is... All his life has has been um, fighting against demons himself, you know, that want to use him for his powers. Um, and yeah, so that one is another good one. The other one is called Unholy Blood. 
basically it deals with vampires who the world knows about and they have to change their world around them. Um, the vampires are basically a nuisance to the humans, but the whole reason why they became a nuisance is because the, I don't know, they never really come out and say like, I think, but yeah, they did call them the pure blood. The pure bloods basically one, their daughter helped someone and he turned his gifts and turned it into something horrible. So now she and the police officer that is with her are trying to, um, stop him so you know things can stop escalating the way they the way they are or have been um you guys know the next one if you guys haven't seen it it is also a series on netflix which i am so super duper excited i can't wait for season two it is called hellbound i have not been reading it i read a couple so far it seems like it's uh the same way as the 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 netflix original series started um, so I will give you guys a comparison of what was different, what was the same. Um, so that one is number two. Number one is Purple Hyacinth. I love this. I actually follow the author of Purple Hyacinth on, um, Netflix. I'm not on Netflix, sorry. He should be on Netflix. Like, this is so good. But, um, anyways, as I was saying, I follow the <laughs> him on Instagram. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Anyways, um, as I was saying, <laughs> um, I follow him because he he does music. He does he he uh, shares some drawings and all this other stuff, which is really interesting. He's really funny to follow. Um, basically, it's about a young woman who later on becomes a police officer, but before then, she suffers. Um, some tragic losses. She loses her parents at a very early age, and then also she also loses her best friend at the at one particular thing um, event, and uh, she is trying to find him. She knows her parents are dead for sure, um, but she doesn't know the bio. According to them, the bodies of the children. We never found it's just really suspicious so she's trying to figure out what happened how everything connects and she also has to work with the assassin known as the purple highest and they become an organization called loon um and man can i just say this i had to fast track it so basically you buy the crypto you get the you know you get the crypto um and it's done through, I believe, yeah, it's definitely done through either your PayPal or your um, Apple Pay. Um, and you can fast track it or you would have to wait a week be or two weeks even before the, the next episode. Something like that. I forgot exactly. But you wait a couple of days and then um, you can read the next one. If you are not like me and can't wait, I, I, I literally could not wait. So I used the rest of my crypto that I had because um, I bought it for the first, was it the first or second season? That's how good it was. Um, this is their third, the third season. I don't know if this is going to be the end, but it is really, really amazing. And I'm super duper duper excited that this, this read is back. Um, so she also has the ability to detect when somebody is lying to her. So um, that is also kind of like supernatural. Um has a lot of action, a lot of twists and turns. It is really an amazing story and it just needs to be a movie or a series or an anime, something. And it definitely needs to happen because this is really, really superb and amazing. And wow, um, at 111, I will let you guys know that I was literally almost screaming at my phone. Um, that's how good it was. Uh, yeah, I think I did. It's like, oh no, you're kidding me. What? No, I gotta wait how many weeks? Like, or how many days for the next couple of episodes? Like, ah! But it really, really, really is good. So you guys check it out. Again, this is Webtoons. Um, again, I'm not sponsored in any way. And, um, sorry about that. Ooh, had a little tickle in my throat. Anyways, um, so again, this is Webtoons not sponsored but I, I wanted you get guys to know um because I also kind of wanted to uh tie in um hellbound 
you know, to let you guys know um, where it originated from if you guys wanted to know. And I think they do say it, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember at this point. It's been a hot minute since I watched it. So that is everything in a nutshell. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this podcast. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Um, if you guys are reading anything that you think that I may be interested in, um, just a regular book, um, drop that down below. And if you guys do or are part of the webtoon community, drop down what um, what novel or manga that I should be reading at this time um, that you think that would be extremely interesting for, for my next read. Alrighty, guys. So I am going to end it here. And thank you guys for listening. And have an awesome weekend. And um, bye for now.